This is Darshana Gauchan with your B2B Cambodia market update for July 5th, 2024. The Cambodia Securities Exchange Index was up by 2.39 points or 0.58% to 416.76. Total trade volume was much higher than it's been for the past few sessions, with 544,813 shares changing hands at a total trade value of 1.75 billion Khmer real or roughly 426,400 US dollars. On the main board, five stocks were up. Pestec Cambodia led the market, rising 7.56% or 170 real to 2,420 real per share. The Phnom Penh Autonomous Port followed in second, up 4.65% or 740 real to 16,640 real per share. Other stocks up were the Sienegville Autonomous Port, which was up by 1.18%, the Phnom Penh Water Supply Authority, which was up by 1.14%, and CamGSM, which was up by 0.46%. On the downside, Grand Twins International dropped 1.72% or 50 real to 2,860 real per share. Royal Group Phnom Penh SEZ was also down 0.44% or 10 real to 2,280 real per share. Meanwhile, Akleda Bank and MJQ Education remained flat. On the growth board, both stocks were down. DBD Engineering was down by 0.48% or 10 real to 2,060 real per share, while JS Land was down 2.70% or 100 real to 3,610 real per share. Grand Trans International was the day's trade volume leader with 410,019 shares changing hands at a value of over 1 billion real or 263,700 US dollars, equivalent to 66% of total shares traded on July 5th. Royal Group Phnom Penh SEZ closed with the second highest trade volume of the day, recording a total of 100,389 shares traded at a value of 229.6 million real or 55,700 US dollars, equivalent to 16% of total trade volume. In other market news, Grand Twins International announced the company's decision to increase its short-term borrowings, with a new short-term loan of 5 million US dollars taken from the Taiwanese Shin Kong Commercial Bank in order to pay for raw materials and for the company's working capital. According to the disclosure statement published on the CSX website, the loan agreement is for one year and has an interest rate of 1.75% per annum. The Khmer real to USD remained unchanged at 4,118 real per US dollar, while the US dollar index was slightly down to 105.17. Oil prices were little changed on Friday, trading near their highest since late April, and on track for a fourth straight week of gains, driven by hopes of strong summer fuel demand and some supply concerns. Brent crude futures were up 11 cents or 0.13% at 87.54 US dollars a barrel. With the U.S. market shut on Thursday for the Independence Day holiday, trading was thin but prices have otherwise risen this week due to strong summer demand expectations in the United States. Gold prices were poised for a second straight weekly rise on Friday, helped by a softer U.S. dollar, while investors braced for the non-farm payrolls data, which could provide further cues on the Federal Reserve's rate cut timeline. Spot gold rose 0.4% to 2,364.87 US dollars per ounce after hitting a two-week high at 2,367.99. Bullion was up more than 1% for the week so far. US gold futures gained 0.2% to 2,372.90 US dollars. U.S. stock index futures inched up after returning from the 4th of July holiday. Dow futures were up 0.06%, S&P 500 futures were up 0.04%, while Nasdaq 100 futures were up 0.10%. This was Darshana Gauchan with your B2B Cambodia market update for July 5th. Have a great weekend!